team and I are responsible for engaging with over a million students in the UAE and bringing them to this expo. The way this vision was articulated came from the very top. Our Prime Minister has articulated that we are going to deliver the best World Expo in the world. Because you're talking 200 nationalities, how are we bringing them together? It's our value system. My name is Marjan Faridouni. Um, and uh, I'm the Chief Experience Officer at uh, Expo. I'm also the Chief Human Resource Officer at Expo. And I oversee a, a few things at Expo. One of them is uh, the curation of the thematic pavilions and any exhibitions that Expo uh, produced for this uh, mega event. And I also oversee the Expo School Program. So my team and I are responsible for engaging with over a million students in the UAE and bringing them to this Expo. I also am responsible with my team on visitor experience as a whole in terms of what happens in the public realm. How is it that we're interacting with the visitors? How are we bringing content to life? And in that role, we work with multiple uh, departments to bring that to life. When I first came in, it was really to think about how this place could live on after the Expo. Being part of an adventure like Expo is an entire odyssey unto itself. But leading up to that, people have something in them. They studied certain yeah. topics. Can you take me from when you were born all the way oh to 2013? <laughs> how many hours do you have? Yeah. <laughs> but let me start with an interesting uh, fact about me. Uh, I do a lot of different things today and a lot of it has to do with storytelling and creation of experience for visitors. I have a public health background and I have a ba bachelor's in human physiology. So I completely uh, steered off from what I studied. But uh, when I first came back to the UAE, I studied in the US. I worked for government and I worked uh, as part of developing strategies for a new city that focused on the healthcare system. And with that experience, I got more into strategy and comms and, 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 and that somehow led me to the expo. The UAE have, has been bidding for this, I believe, since 2011. Before presenting the bid document, uh, I happened to know somebody who was working as part of the expo team, which was really small at that time. And I was like, do you need any help? I'm more than willing to give my help. I speak a bit of French. I, you know, I speak English, Arabic. And she's like, actually, we're in the process of editing this really big document and translating it into French. Would you be interested in supporting us with the editing? And I was like, absolutely. And that's where I got into the Expo family, if you will. I was just a volunteer. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I continued working where I was working. And um, in 2014, uh, I was actually looking for a bit of change in, uh, in my life. I was working in a company called Dubai Holding. It went through a large transition. I was part of that transition and the change. And uh, it was four years since I was part of that. And I happened to speak to someone who said, are you interested in being part of thinking about the future of Expo? And I was like, absolutely. One of the things that all great customer experience practitioners or leaders have is a high degree of empathy. We're we're often volunteer oriented and we like to help other people. Now that you're in an HR capacity, you're also curating employee experiences and that's really the full spectrum here, right? At Expo, you have the customer experience, you have the employee experience, but then you have this combined this human experience that sets a stage or a a roadmap or potential vision for lots of other countries, right. governments, political systems. I'm interested in your personal wisdom about bringing the, the experiences together through okay. all of the people you work with. So one of the first things I'd like to start with is a, a broad vision and a connection that everybody should have to something. And one of the brilliant things about our expo and how we delivered on it was that everybody connected the vision. We all knew that we are going to be part of something that's going to change the nature of not only the city of Dubai, but also the United Arab Emirates. And the way this vision was articulated came from the very top. Our prime minister has articulated that we are going to deliver the best world expo in the world because it came from the very top and it was brought down to every single level, no matter where you sit in the organization, I believe that was one of the first things that connected everybody. When we talk holistic, you already have the vision of what this World Expo is all about, and it's to bring the world together. Everybody knew it, 
even though they didn't understand what the details or how it was, they knew that it was going to be a turning point for the city and for this country. The second thing that I have been reflecting on a lot in the past couple of weeks is, you know, what connects us as people? Regardless of who you are in the organization and regardless of who your customers are, it was very clear to me that it was something simple. It's our value system. It's really our value system that allows us to be able to connect with each other no matter where you're from, no matter how old you are, what role you play in the organization, and no matter who you are. And for Expo, our values were very clear. Honesty, cooperation, doing what you do with excellence and integrity. We're an organization of more than 200 nationalities. That's a big deal. You know, those who have been participants, those who are working with us, and those who are going to be our potential visitors. You're talking 200 nationalities. How are we bringing them together? It's our value system. Very simple. And these value systems are very human. You know, one of the dearest things I worked on at Expo was this Expo School program that we're hearing a lot of the students come through. To generate that program, it was very important to us to understand who are the students. It's easy to say, yes, I'm going to create a program for one million students. But remember, there are one million students at different stages of development. So this was a huge personal lesson for me, that when I wanted to talk about Expo, Again, connecting the vision, right? To the five-year-old, it was certainly different than the way I was going to talk about the expo. To the 13-year-old, very different to the 16-year-old. And one of the most fundamental learnings that I got from all of this is that we can't change people. So when you go in with that mindset of not being able to change people, you pressure yourself to see how could I speak and connect to people in a way that they get it. And a lot of people ask me, you know, you have a lot of different people that you work with, different types of teams. How, how do you do it? Well, it takes a lot of hard work. When I wake up in the morning, I, I kid you not, it's thinking about how can I get my work done knowing that person X is different than person Y is different than person A. It's tiring, so I have to, I have to spend a lot of time on my own because in order to be that person who accepts every person for who they are, it takes a lot of swallowing of your pride, of your ego. It takes a lot of management of your, you know, your temper. And I, of course, I'm not perfect because I lose it sometimes. But that's one of the things that I've learned that in order to get people to deliver, to connect, you need to be empathetic. But it's easier said than done. To be empathetic is to really spend time allowing people to be who they are. And, and I think that's one of the key things that I've learned.